Water is essential for life as we know it. No one can deny that liquid water is a major part of why Earth is a habitable, thriving planet today. This is why scientists have recently focused their efforts on trying to detect signs of water on distant planets in our universe. Finding a planet with water could mean that it is similarly habitable to Earth, and may even be home to an intelligent civilization. The newly launched James Webb Space Telescope has detected signs of water on WASP-96b. Let's take a closer look. An average human wouldn't survive more than 72 hours without water. While we Earthlings are spoiled with an abundance of water, finding it elsewhere in the cosmos is a different matter. On Earth, we can see water and handle it with our bare hands. Detecting water or finding evidence of past water from far away is much more difficult. Optical telescopes that collect visible light and provide visual images of distant bodies only give us some indication of the brightness and large-scale shapes and structures of large regions. Brighter regions, especially near the north or south pole of a planet or moon, could indicate reflections of frozen water. However, when it's cold enough, even carbon dioxide forms a reflective solid. As such, optical telescopes alone cannot confirm the presence of water. Optical telescopes can also give some indication of mountains and valleys on other planets, but the large distance from Earth makes it very difficult to determine the size and structure of smaller geological features, like those that may have been formed with the help of flowing water. Placing a camera closer to a planet via an orbiting spacecraft allows scientists to collect much higher resolution images of the surface. Spacecraft that can land and even drive on the planet's surface allows humans to move around a planet to look at the size and shape of rocks ranging from larger boulders to tiny pebbles. In addition to camera images, scientists also indirectly understand what material is on a planet by measuring the reflectance of light off the surface. Different materials, including water, absorb and reflect different wavelengths of light, both visible light that humans see as different colors, and light that we cannot see with our eyes. The latter includes ultraviolet and infrared. The relative intensity of reflection of different wavelengths is together called a spectrum, which is measured to narrow down the possible range of materials on the surface of an extraterrestrial body. Additional instruments can be designed to detect other wavelengths of light or elementary particles like neutrons emanating from the surface of an extraterrestrial body. These signals can be further interpreted to detect atomic elements such as hydrogen, which is one component of water. Often, the data from multiple instruments and camera images must be put together to determine what's on or even just below the surface. Science is in a state of constant motion. It tends to evolve at a very fast pace as new things constantly increase our understanding of the universe. As a result, science has moved forward since the conception of the James Webb Space Telescope and new areas have emerged that may not have been foreseen when the first light machine was first conceived. In 1995, the first two planets orbiting another star, other than our Sun, were discovered. Since then, thousands of exoplanets of various sizes and kinds have been detected. And while not designed with these potential other Earths in mind, the James Webb Space Telescope turns out to be positioned to not only discover many more, but also to tell us much finer details about their nature than any other mission before. These planets have atmospheres that have various molecules in them, things like carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen. The best way to look at these molecules is with infrared spectroscopy. One of JWST's instruments, the Near Infrared Camera, is fitted with extra implements called coronagraphs, which block out the light of a star to see more clearly what is happening around it. That indeed might involve alien systems of planets, some of which might be habitable, with water and an atmosphere that could support life just like Earth. 30 years ago, nobody would have imagined that we could study the composition of the atmospheres of planets around other stars. Now scientists are doing this regularly, and the JWST can improve these results substantially. The most basic condition for being able to sustain liquid water is the planet's position in relation to its star. Scientists call the region around a star where liquid water can exist on the surface of a planet the habitable zone. Not so close to the star that water all evaporates, and not so far from the star that it all freezes. This area is also known as the Goldilocks zone. We can tell if a planet is in a habitable zone based on the distance of the planet from its host star and the temperature of that star. A bigger, hotter star's habitable zone is farther out than that of a smaller, cooler star. There could be as many as 40 billion planets in the habitable zone of stars right here in our Milky Way galaxy. So far, we found about 20. That may not seem like many, but consider this. We may have already found a planet that hosts life, and we just don't know it yet. 
Imagine what our sun and Earth would look like from a few hundred light years away. Using our present-day technologies, you might be able to determine that Earth is a small rocky planet that sits in the sun's habitable zone. Next, you could look for signs of water in the Earth's atmosphere to rule out it wasn't a dry desert planet like Mars. Our current technologies are just barely capable of doing this, while upcoming ground and space-based observatories will be able to do it even better. By then, you might be able to conclude Earth was habitable. The JWST has shown it can detect signs of water on the surface of a planet, which is also a good indicator of the presence of life. The planet in question is WASP-96b. It orbits a yellow dwarf located about 1,160 light years away in the constellation Phoenix. Shining at a magnitude 12.2, it is invisible to the unaided eye. The Sun-like star hosts at least one exoplanet, but it may host several more. WASP-96 is a yellow main-sequence star of the spectral type G8. It has a mass of 1.06 solar masses and a radius of 1.05 solar radii. With a surface temperature of about 5,540 K, the star is slightly cooler than the Sun. Even though it has similar properties to the Sun, WASP-96 is more than twice as old. It has an estimated age of 9.40 billion years. The habitable zone of WASP-96 lies at a distance between 0.698 astronomical units and 1.470 astronomical units from the host star. The inner boundary corresponds to the orbital distance at Venus's equivalent radiation, while the outer boundary corresponds to that of Mars's equivalent radiation. The orbital distance at Earth's equivalent radiation is 0.965 astronomical units. WASP-96b is a gas giant planet discovered orbiting WASP-96 in 2013. It is one of more than 5,000 known extrasolar planets in the Milky Way. The exoplanet has a mass of 0.48 Jupiter masses and a radius of about 1.20 Jupiter radii. It orbits the parent star, WASP-96, at a distance of only 0.0453 astronomical units, taking 3.425 days to complete an orbit. The planet's temperature is about 1,285K. WASP-96b was detected in 2013 by the Wide Angle Search for Planets, an international consortium that uses an array of robotic telescopes to perform transit photometry and discover exoplanets. The planet was discovered by a team of researchers at Keele University and was announced in 2014. The planet has had renewed interest lately thanks to the recent observations done by the James Webb Space Telescope. The observatory has revealed a distinct signature of water on the planet. Before the JWST observations, WASP-96b was believed to have a cloud-free atmosphere, but data obtained within the telescope indicates evidence of clouds and haze in the exoplanet spectrum. Astronomers used Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph to capture the planet's transmission spectrum. They detected not only water, but evidence of clouds and haze. The Webb observations made it possible for researchers to analyze an extrasolar planet's atmosphere at a distance of more than 1,000 light years in unprecedented detail. The observations done by the JWST reveal the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light, which is the most detailed of its kind to date, demonstrating Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. While the Hubble Space Telescope has analyzed numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades, capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observation marks a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. WASP-96b is one of more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way. Located roughly 1,150 light years away in the southern sky constellation Phoenix, it represents a type of gas giant that has no direct analog in our solar system. With a mass less than half of that of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times greater, WASP-96b is much puffier than any planet orbiting our sun. And with a temperature greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it is significantly hotter. WASP-96b orbits extremely close to its sun-like star, just one-ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. The combination of large size, short orbital period, puffy atmosphere, and lack of contaminating light from objects nearby in the sky makes WASP-96b an ideal target for atmospheric observations. On June 21st, Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph measured light from the WASP-96 system for 6.4 hours as the planet moved across the star. 
The result is a light curve showing the overall dimming of starlight during the transit and a transmission spectrum revealing the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. While the light curve confirms properties of the planet that had already been determined from other observations, the existence, size, and orbit of the planet, the transmission spectrum reveals previously hidden details of the atmosphere, the unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze, and evidence of clouds that were thought not to exist based on prior observations. A transmission spectrum is made by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it moves across the star to the unfiltered starlight detected when the planet is beside the star. Researchers can detect and measure the abundance of key gases in a planet's atmosphere based on the absorption pattern, the locations and heights of peaks on the graph. In the same way that people have distinctive fingerprints and DNA sequences, atoms and molecules have characteristic patterns of wavelengths that they absorb. The spectrum of WASP-96b, captured by the NIRISS, is not only the most detailed near-infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere captured to date, but it also covers a remarkably wide range of wavelengths, including visible red light and a portion of the spectrum that has not previously been accessible from other telescopes. This part of the spectrum is particularly sensitive to water, as well as other key molecules like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are not immediately obvious in the WASP-96b spectrum, but should be detectable in other exoplanets planned for observation by Webb. The evidence of an atmosphere and water vapor on the planet suggests that it could be ideal for harboring life. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one about the Perseverance rover and how it found signs of water on Mars. Do you think WASP-96B is habitable? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.